right now, can you look inside your own heart and really like be honest? Are you jealous of someone? Do you feel envy of your coworker that's making more money? Even though he's not fit, are you willing to look deep into your own heart and be real? Be real because I'm not gonna lie, when, when I turned everything over to God that morning, this was the hardest part of this discussion that I had with him was actually telling him everybody that I was jealous of and envy of. Jealousy and envy are, are hard to control, but with God, all things are possible. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I spit to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suerte la suburba, cause we about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong Strong. All in his name, all in his glory, thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for me. If someone is leaving you behind and you're feeling jealous you need to start praying pray that they may s have success in every way and manner where you are feeling this envy because this is where obviously you need to grow god wants you to grow in areas jealousy and envy are are sinful acts of the flesh will not inherit the kingdom of god feeling this way that's for sure I lived it for 43 years. I know, I know. And it was killing me. It was killing me, rotting my bones. Where there is envy and selfish ambition, you'll find disorder and every evil practice you could possibly think of. Jealousy comes out of the heart, guys. It comes out of the heart. A jealous heart takes life from us. A peaceful heart gives life to our bodies. I have learned this the hard way. Every day that I read verses like this, it's very humbling to me to see that it, it wasn't just me that was struggling with, with a lot of stuff, it's all in there. It, it's been in our hearts, it's been in our flesh for years, you know? So you're not the only one struggling with this and God knows this. He would not let you go through something you cannot handle. It shows us how much we really need Jesus because without having the Holy Spirit living in us, our dark hearts will do terrible things. I know. We want to live victorious in the kingdom of God, now and forever. We don't want disorder or rotten bones. For 43 years, I had to try and rationalize that I just had bad luck. You know, uh, what happened to me as a kid was just bad luck. What I, how I was living my life was just bad luck, bad choices that sooner or later, you know, things would get better for me. I can get better. I could learn. I could get better. I could read more, go to school. That's how I met John. I choose to give it all to the Lord. That's, that's what I choose today. 
God is a gentleman and he will never demand that you put him first, but he loves us and rewards us for our faithfulness in ways that the world can never do. And that's what I understand now with having the peace and joy in my heart and not feeling the way that I used to feel when I just hated everybody and hated everything. I pretend it. I pretend it. Because you only you can only pretend for so long. Tell him talk to him. Tell him that you want to make changes so he can help you refocus more on him than the world. As much as you think that you deserve to live the way that you have been living, because that's what I thought, and that's what I used to always tell myself. Even when my daughter was born and she was having some health issues, I honestly blamed myself and I said, this is, this is because of me. I deserve this. No. God forgave you when he sent his son to the cross. The jealousy, the envy, the hate, or the answer is simple, guys. It's God, God alone. The biggest discipline you have is the gospel. Believe it, living it, talking it. The gospel is the discipline to believe that God can forgive you and he wants to. A love so big and so deep for us that you can't even understand. He wants us just the way that we are. Broken, hurt. It's still Jesus, guys. I mean, can you picture him walking to the cross? For you and me? For every crime that we've done, he's paying the price. He's getting whooped. He's getting crucified. Can you picture that? Do you even try to? This is why I stay on my walk now. I don't know if I would be able to step up to the cross like that and take it for the whole world. I don't know. It would always be Jesus. I stand here free today because of Jesus. He took my pain. He helped me understand. It would always be Jesus. His blood was the price for your life. It will never stop being the power of Jesus. And yes, Jesus is enough. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage and remember, for him. It's a money back guarantee. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.